This is Bob Capetta from the University of Illinois at Chicago, and this lesson is on the limit comparison test. We're given this series. The sum as k goes from 1 to infinity of 3k plus 1 over 7k cubed plus 2k squared plus 4. And our goal is going to be to determine whether this series converges or diverges. Now, we have to examine the numerator and the denominator and ask ourselves, what is the highest power of k? What is the dominating function? And on the top, the dominating function is k to the first. On the bottom, the dominating function is k to the third, the highest power of that index k. So I say the top is essentially k, the bottom is essentially k cubed. So when we put those together, we want to compare this original series to one defined by the sequence k over k cubed or 1 over k squared. That's going to be our goal. We're going to look at this 3k plus 1 over 7k cubed plus 2k squared plus 4 and this 1 over k squared. Two different sequences that define series and we're going to determine how those things behave. So here's our original question. So our a sub k, our original sequence that defines this series, is 3k plus 1 over 7k cubed plus 2k squared plus 4. And recall we said the top was basically k, the bottom was basically k cubed, k over k cubed basically 1 over k squared. Now here's our process. We want to look at the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k over b sub k. If that limit is a positive finite number, positive, more than 0, finite, less than infinity. If that happens, then both series are of the same type. So we have a series here defined by this sequence. We would have a series defined by this sequence. That series, of course, is the sum of 1 over k squared. If I get a positive finite number, this series will behave the same way as this series. And of course, the sum of 1 over k squared converges by the p-series test. So our original guess will be that this will converge as long as I can get a positive finite number with that limit. So our next move is to look at the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k over b sub k. So limit is k goes to infinity a sub k over b sub k. I like to use the division sign here. a sub k divided by division sign b sub k. Then of course if we divide the fractions we know that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. When I do that, the numerator becomes 3k cubed plus k squared. The denominator stays the same since it's multiplied by 1. So now we're here. <clears throat> Maybe it's obvious that that limit is 3 sevenths. To be formal, we'll divide the top and bottom by k cubed. So 3k cubed divided by k cubed is 3. k squared divided by k cubed is 1 over k. 7k cubed divided by k cubed is 7. 2k squared divided by k cubed is 2 over k. 4 divided by k cubed is 4 divided by k cubed. So I've got 4 over k squared there, so I will make that adjustment. So that's fixed. As k goes to infinity, this piece goes to 0, this piece goes to 0, and that piece goes to 0. So our result is 3 sevenths. But remember we said, if that limit is a positive finite number, both series are of the same type. 3 sevenths is positive, more than 0, less than infinity. So indeed we're going to conclude that both of these series must be of the same type. So what have we shown here? That limit is 3 sevenths, so both series are of the same type. What do we know? The sum of the b sub k's is the sum of the 1 over k squareds. Recognizing that, that's a p-series. So that converges because p is 2. The p-series converges if that exponent is more than 1. So the sum of the b sub k is a convergent series. So the sum of the a sub k must also converge. Since that was a positive finite number, both series are of the same type. The sum of b sub k converges, therefore the sum of a sub k converges by that limit comparison test. Let's move on to our next question. So here we see the sum of 1 over 2k plus 5. Now, looking at that, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe the direct comparison test, but it frankly doesn't work here. Why is that? 
2k plus 5 is greater than k. That's true. 2k is bigger than k. 2k plus 5 is bigger than k. If I take the reciprocal of both of these, the sign will change. 3 is bigger than 2, but 1 third is less than 1 half. So we see 1 over 2k plus 5 is less than 1 over k. But what do we know about our series? We know the sum of 1 over k diverges. Why is that? That's the harmonic series. So this thing is less than something whose series diverges. But that doesn't tell us anything. Less than divergent is inconclusive. Greater than convergent is inconclusive. So in this case, the limit comparison test is going to have to be used because the direct comparison test doesn't work. So what will we limit compare this to? Well, the top is, all it is is 1. The bottom is essentially k. Ignoring the constants, the bottom is essentially k. So what that tells me, with the top being 1 and the bottom k, we're going to compare this to 1 over k. So we're going to have 1 over 2k plus 5 will be the sequence that defines this series. 1 over k will be a sequence that defines another series. And then if we get a positive finite number, both series are of the same type. Here's the question we started with. So a sub k will be 1 over 2k plus 5. b sub k is what this is like. We always want our b sub k to be a p series, if possible because that's the easiest thing to compare it to. So we're going to compare a sub k to b sub k, which is 1 over k. And then we're going to look at the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k over b sub k. If I get a positive finite number, then we know both series are of the same type. So what's that going to look like? Limit as k goes to infinity of 1 over 2k plus 5 divided by 1 over k. Then let's invert and multiply, so times k over 1, which will give me the limit as k goes to infinity of k over 2k plus 5. Now how is this going to work? If we divide top and bottom by k, dividing the top by k, I just get 1. Dividing the bottom by k, I get 2k over k, 2 plus 5 over k. Well, as k goes to infinity, that goes to 0. My result is just 1 half. That pleases me because 1 half is a positive finite number. Since 1 half is a positive finite number, the sum of a sub k and the sum of b sub k must be of the same type. To remind ourselves, there's a sub k and there's b sub k. We do have a limit of 1 half, so they're both of the same type. Because 1 half is a positive finite number, more than 0, less than infinity. Now, what do we know about the sum of 1 over k? Well, that's one of our favorite series. That is the harmonic series. And, of course, the harmonic series diverges. Sum of 1 over k diverges. And since both series are of the same type, what do we conclude? That the sum of a sub k, which is the sum of 1 over 2k plus 5, must also diverge. That's a type. And there it is fixed. So the sum of a sub k also diverges. Both series are of the same type because that limit was a positive finite number. So the sum of 1 over 2k plus 5 as k goes from 1 to infinity must also diverge because it behaves the same way as the sum of 1 over k. So here's a somewhat more challenging problem. Sum as k goes from 1 to infinity of 9k squared over the cube root of k to the 7th plus 3k squared plus 6. We want to compare this to a p-series if possible. We think what is the dominating feature of the numerator and the denominator. 9 is a constant. We kind of ignore that. But we have k squared upstairs. So that's the only power, certainly the highest power upstairs. Downstairs I have several things, but the highest power here is this k to the 7th with the cube root. So if we ignore the lower pieces, this is the cube root of k to the 7th or k to the 7 thirds. So the top will be k squared, the bottom will be k to the 7 thirds. This is going to behave like k squared over k to the 7 thirds. So we have our a sub k, but to get our b sub k, we need to think about this. k squared over k to the 7 thirds. Bases are the same, we can subtract exponents. k to the 2 minus 7 thirds. That's 6 thirds minus 7 thirds, that's negative 1 third k to the negative 1 third which is, of course, 1 over k to the 1 third, which is 1 over the cube root of k. 
So our a sub k sequence is going to be this, 9k squared over the cube root of k to the 7th plus 3k squared plus 6. Our b sub k sequence is going to be 1 over the cube root of k. We're going to look at the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k over b sub k, hoping we get a positive finite number. So indeed, there are our two sequences of interest. If we get a positive finite number, we know that both series will be of the same type. Looking at b sub k, the sum of the b sub k, the sum of 1 over the cube root of k, will be a p-series, so it'll be easy for us to determine whether it converges or diverges. So we've got to take a sub k divided by b sub k. Using the line with two dots, a sub k, 9k squared over the cube root of k to the 7th plus 3k squared plus 6, divided by 1 over the cube root of k, which we will invert and multiply, so times cube root of k over 1, which is going to give me what? 9k squared times k to the 1 third, k squared times k to the 1 third, would be k to the 2 plus a third, 6 thirds plus 1 thirds, 9k to the 7 thirds, when I add the exponents. We're going to have a bit of a challenge, though, with this limit. We're going to need to do some interesting algebra. Again, our goal is to get a positive finite number. So here we are with our limit. What can I do to make sense out of this? I'm going to divide the top by k to the 7 thirds. I'm going to divide the bottom by k to the 7 thirds. k to the 7 thirds divided by k to the 7 thirds on the top is just going to give me 1. 9 times 1 or 9. That one's relatively straightforward. On the bottom, I'm going to rewrite k to the 7 thirds as the cube root of k to the 7th. So let's see how that manifests itself. 9k to the 7 thirds divided by k to the 7 thirds is just 9k to the 1st, which I'm, excuse me, 9k to the 0, which is 9, so 9 over 1. Dividing the cube root of k to the 7th, I'm taking the cube root of k to the 7th divided by all of these. And then I'll eventually put it under one cube root sign. So we'll make it one big cube root sign, k to the 7th over k to the 7th, 3k squared over k to the 7th, 6 over k to the 7th. We see this becomes 1, this becomes 3 over k to the 5th, this becomes 6 over k to the 7th, which looks good. As k gets very large, this piece goes to 0 and this piece goes to 0, so that my limit is going to be what? It's going to be 9 over cube root of 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is 9. We're very pleased with that because that's a positive finite number. So indeed, if that limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k over b sub k is a positive finite number, both series must be of the same type. That limit is 9, more than 0, less than infinity, so it satisfies the condition. So we know that both series will be of the same type. But then what about the sum of 1 over the cube root of k? What can we say? The sum of the b sub k's, the sum of 1 over the cube root of k, is the sum of 1 over k to the 1 third. Well, that's a p-series. The p is less than 1. In that case, that series diverges. So by the limit comparison test, our original series must diverge too. So our conclusion, thanks to the limit comparison test, is our original series the sum of the a sub k, which is the sum of 9k squared over the cube root of k to the 7th plus 3k squared plus 6 must be the same type as the sum of the b sub k's. And since that diverges, we conclude that our original series also diverges by the limit comparison test. And that will conclude this lesson.